Today I'm going to talk about the Apple Lightning to 3.5 millimeter audio adapter. And ever since the iPhone 7 hit the market, Apple removed the classic 3.5 millimeter audio jack from the iPhone. And you're going to need to use a lightning adapter like this in order to listen to your headphone, your external speaker. So today I'm going to take a look at three different adapters that I got to see if there are any difference in the uh, performance and the way they're designed. So at a glance you can see this is actually the original uh, Apple Lightning to audio adapter and it's uh, not that long, about just a couple centimeters length. And then here we have this adapter made by Tech One, uh, I believe it's a brand that's mainly sold in Europe. And I bought this from a Chinese store. And also here we have another one that looks a little bit more sturdy, which is made by Link. And again, I also bought this from another Chinese store. So the price are quite similar. The original Apple adapter is about nine euros something. This one is actually about seven euros fifty, and this one is about uh, the same, around nine euros. And the reason they're expensive is because they have to pay Apple a license fee to use a, a chip to convert digital audio to analog audio and that license fee is fixed so they have to account for the cost of material design license fee it's not just a simple adapter it's an active digital to audio adapter so now let's connect this to the iPhone and see how they perform so now I'm going to just go ahead and turn on the iPhone and so first, I'm going to connect the original Apple adapter to the iPhone and let's see what it does. So no strange message, we're here in voice control, accessibility, and um, okay, nothing in particular. Now we're going to try the next one, which is this uh, Tech 1. and. And plug it in so now look already there's something different it sh was showing like a Bluetooth adapter I believe so let's go back and check to see this and under Bluetooth we're gonna go back you can see here it shows not beats but bits so it's misspelled beats so what I suspect is that this company that made this Tech One uh, adapter actually didn't really uh, have their own chip. They just copied the uh, the chip from Beat Audio, Beats Audio, and then just modified it and put it into this adapter. Because otherwise, it doesn't explain why you will see that Bluetooth screen. So now let's try the other uh, brand Link, and this is actually a lot more sturdy looking this is actually made of uh, aluminum and you can see the cable is longer it's thicker and it's protected by this weaved uh, material here and also on this end you also have the 3.5 millimeter adapter jack made of uh, aluminum whereas both the Apple and the Tech One adapters are made of plastic. So from here you can see uh, these are also a lot shorter, just a regular uh, unshielded, well, I shouldn't say unshielded, but uh, regular uh, rubber uh, cable. Okay, so let's plug this in and see what happens here. And okay, nothing really happens as it shouldn't. So, so three adapters one adapter had a particular strange behavior and that is the tech one and now let's try the audio performance when it's connected to an external so for my testing system I have the iPhone connected through the adapter to 
the um, Yamaha RXV463 amplifier and this is a pretty good amplifier and um, I'm going to be using this for testing this is set to the direct mode without any kind of enhancement and this system is connected to a um, very nice set of Diapson Knox uh, hi-fi stereo speakers and uh, these are the uh, speakers made by an Italian company with the opposite and here we have the uh, decibel meter I downloaded from the app store to measure the decibel and for the sample music I chose Heroes Tonight from No Copyright Sound and this is not going to violate any kind of YouTube copyright digital millennium act so all right so i'm going to connect this adapter which is the original apple lightning to audio adapter into the lightning port here and then uh, we're going to start the music just shortly okay now let's play Okay, so that's about 40 seconds into the music. Now we're going to change the adapter to this one that's made by Tech One, and removing this um, Apple adapter, giving it a second test. And you can see this uh, Beat Audio Bluetooth came up again on the screen. And now let me press play. Okay, so that's the um, second adapter. As you can notice, the sound is less loud. It's quieter and we're gonna try the third adapter, which is this link. And it looks pretty good quality. Let's see how it sounds. Because that's the most important test, right? Especially for those who care very much about audio quality. When it comes to digital to analog conversion, the uh, circuitry they use inside is definitely important. Okay, so the sound level is about the same as the other adapter and out of the three I tested, the loudest is the original Apple Lightning to audio adapter. And uh, again, this is running through a Yamaha 
amplifier system with a direct connection so there's no enhancement and in my amplifier there's definitely some kind of uh, enhancement that I can use to make the sound even louder and richer but we're doing a direct testing so you have to also consider often this is plugged into a headphone and if you're an audiophile I would say probably the Apple at least from this testing group the Apple original adapter give the best and loudest sound